because um, again, I can I can separate the the, the nodes into two classes, uh, this class and that class, the variables and the factors, and nodes in one class only connect to nodes in the other class. So in other words, there's no edges from variables to variables, and there's no edges from factors to factors. So that's all well and good. This this is a nice graphical depiction of a very of a potentially very complicated model. But um, there's more. It turns out there's an algorithm called the, the sum product algorithm that can operate on the graph that can be interpreted as passing messages along the edges of the graph. And what that algorithm does is it calculates probability locally at each variable. So in other words, let's say we have this big complicated model. And what I really want to know is, OK, so um, I'm really interested in B. I want to know what's the probability of B. So in other words, I've got this big thing with lots of stuff going on. And what I'm interested in is, is this particular variable right here. And I want to know, what is this big fat graph telling me about B? What's the summarized information about B? Um, what I could do is I could say f of A, B, C, D, E. If I wanted to calculate probability of B, what would I do with that uh, with that uh, joint probability model over the many variables? Just mathematically speaking, what would I do? First, why did you say it's equal? No, I'm not saying that's equal. I want to know what do I do? So. What do I do to get from one to the other? Okay, uh, so you're saying divide this by f of a, c, d, and e. So what that gives you is f of b given a, c, d, and e. But I don't have a, c, d, and e, I just want b. Sum over a, b, c, d. Yeah, I sum over everything except what I don't know. So we know this from, <coughs> from, uh, um, from probability that if I have f of x and y, and I want to turn that into f of x, I just sum over y. So I want, to, I want to get rid of everything that I don't know except b. Probability of b is equal to sum of this model over a, c, b, and e. In fact, let's write that as a, sum over C, sum over D, sum over E of F of A, B, C, D, E. <coughs> so if I look at this model, and I consider this expression, say probability of B is equal to the sum over A, sum over C, sum over D, sum over E of F1 of A and B, F2 of B, C, and D, and F3 But not all of these uh, factors appear in all of the sums. So in fact, I can, I can uh, rearrange the sums as follows. I can sum over A. The only term in which the sum over A appears is this one. Um, C, C and D appear in these two.
So it would appear this function, this sum, can be calculated locally at F3. F3 already knows about its own function. And what, uh, if F3 were a computer, F3 could sit there and calculate the sum over all possible values of E, and then it could pass it to the rest of the to the rest of the expression like so. So um, let's call this a message from F3. Message calculated at F3. Sum over E, this will end up being a function of D. Which is equal to the sum over E F3 of D and E. Which can be calculated locally at F3. So we can imagine this being passed as a message to D. This is like, the rest of the graph is saying um, everything beyond here, if I cut the graph here, and ask what is the rest of the graph telling me about D, that is all contained in the message mu F3 of D. Now, if I, if I take that message and pass it along, let's say pass it along this edge, F2, then what I can do is I can multiply it by this factor and calculate the sum over C and D. So I can't calculate the sum over C and D uh, solely at this factor because I don't know what, what, uh, what information was, was obtained here. However, this message can be passed along and can end up here. So what I can then do is I can take the product this incoming message, this summarized message, mu f3 of d, take the product of these two and then calculate these sums. That will then be a function of, so I eliminate c and d and this will be a function of b. So let's let mu f2 of b be the sum over c and d of F2, B, C, D, times the incoming message from F3. So now I can replace this with mu F2 of B. So that, all of that information is boiled down is, is obtained here. If F2 is a computer, F2 can take this message, multiply it by its internal factor, and send the result as a message up here to B. Finally, I have this. This is a sum over A, and this sum can be calculated locally at F1. So if F1 is a computer, F1 can calculate that. That will be, it's a sum over A, so it's a function of B, and it's the sum over A of F1 of A and B. So finally, my result is mu F1 times mu F2 of B. So that message is passed along here. 